It was a normal day at the malt shop. Mystery Inc. were ordering ice cream for a treat after solving another mystery. As they ordered ice cream, they had to wait before the ice cream arrived. These flavors are swell, Fred said, ordering himself a banana split. I agree. I'm getting the hot fudge sundae, Daphne added. That tiger tail flavor looks yummy. I'm taking that with a cone. Velma also added, Why, Scoob and I are ordering all the flavors, right, buddy? Shaggy questioned, tuning his attention to his friend. Rah, rice ream, Scooby added. Then, Shaggy needed to use the bathroom. Why, I think we better head to the bathroom, Scoob, Shaggy said. Then he left for the bathroom, with Scooby following him. Those guys ordering every ice cream on the menu. Typical of Shaggy and Scooby to do. Velma sighed. Then she went inside the woman's restroom to wash her hands. Just as Daphne and Fred were cuddling close to each other, Daphne's phone vibrated in her pocket, excusing herself from the table to take the phone call. When Fred was waiting for the ice cream to be served to everyone, but the waitress asked where everyone was. Shaggy and Scooby along with Velma are in the bathroom. As for Daphne... She had to take a phone call, Fred answered. Then he felt his pocket to feel that he had left his wallet in the mystery machine. Damn it, I knew I left my wallet back in the mystery machine. This will only be a bit, Fred sighed. Then he left the malt shop. As soon as Mystery Inc. was out of sight, a bouncing creature from the hundred acre wood bounced in the malt shop. It was none other than Tigger. As he sat at a table waiting for a waiter or waitress to take his order, seeing that if they must have been on break, he didn't hear, they didn't hear Tigger come in, assuming that they were in the back area of the malt shop. Now the malt shop is quiet. Where did everyone go? Tigger asked. He wondered what was going on, but then he saw that there was a lot of ice cream on the front table of the malt shop. Ice cream? The left on the air. Tigger questioned himself, but then thought they were all for him. And since no one had claimed them, however, he was unaware that the mist that the ice cream belonged to Mystery Inc. It'll be such a shame to see this all go to waste. Time for me to have a treat. As Tigger began to to eat all the ice cream after he said that that was there, from Fred's banana split to every ice cream on the menu that Shaggy and Scooby ordered. Tigger had cleaned the whole table off as he finished the last ice cream sundae. Then he burped. Excuse me, that was the best ice cream I had in a while. Tigger said. Then he heard the bathroom door swing open. That meant that Tigger had to hide. He hid himself in the storage closet so he wouldn't get caught. Time to have our ice cream, Shaggy said. But when the gang all glanced down at the empty bowls and sundae dishes... Someone ate all of their ice cream. Zoinks! Someone ate all of our ice cream! Rah! Scooby said. Well, who would do that? Fred asked. Well, we didn't see that too many people, but this makes me wonder if someone snuck in and ate our ice cream. Velma wondered. Well, gang, looks like we have a new mystery to solve. Dolph Daphne stated. Then they heard a sound what sounded like Tigger was making the sound that he makes before he pounces on someone. Well, that mystery is quick to solve, Fred said. Then the gang opened the storage room to see Tigger lying on his back with a bit of a beer belly from eating the ice cream. He had some ice cream on his mouth and a bit on his tummy too. Mystery Inc. had a feeling that he ate all of their ice cream. Tigger, did you eat our ice cream? Shaggy asked. Why, yes, I did. I thought it was no one's, so that's why I had all the ice cream. Tigger answered, Well, Tigger, you know that taking someone else's ice cream is not the nice thing to do, Velma said. We all wanted the ice cream. Also, taking things without asking is not a good idea. You're gonna have to pay for the ice cream that you ate that was ours, and pay for our ice cream that we're gonna have to reorder, Fred added. But I want a PlayStation 4. I have been saving my money for that. Tigger then started to whine. Too bad, Tigger. 
You ate our ice cream, so you'll buy them all again with your money, Daphne replied, not wanting to argue with Tigger. As the gang sat down at their seats, they had their ice cream as Tigger paid for the gang's ice cream, as well as the ones he ate earlier. Tigger knew that arguing wouldn't get him any way out of this, nor being greedy with money to buy a PS4 was very selfish of him to do so. He had learned his lesson on taking things without asking. Yuck, Tigger don't like to pay for other people's meals.